Viral Nader presents Heartbreaking News for Julia Roberts. A lot of the time in Hollywood, real ability and star quality seem to run in the family. One such family is the Roberts. There's no doubt that these beautiful women are natural actors, from Julia Roberts, who won an Oscar, to her up-and-coming sister, Emma Roberts. Roberts' family has a lot of secrets that they don't want anyone to know, from her parents' hard childhood to her brother who she doesn't talk too much, and his own failed attempt at fame that no one remembers. Let's look back at this interesting family and how they became so powerful in Hollywood. We'll also find out what happened behind the scenes. Destined for Drama We need to go back to the early 1950s to get to the bottom of this amazing and one-of-a-kind family story. Because that's when Betty Lou Bredemis and Walter Grady Roberts, Julia Roberts' parents, met for the first time. They became close because they both loved acting. Both of them had been actors and writers for a long time. Their work in military shows brought them together in more ways than one. Not only did they help start the Atlanta Actors and Writers Workshop together, but they also fell in love, which marked the start of a wonderful family of actors. Wedding Bells Soon after, Betty Lou Bredemis and Walter Grady Roberts made their relationship public by getting married in 1955. The happy couple made a loving home and soon after had their first child together, a son named Eric. Around this time, they started another important project, an acting school for kids in Decatur, Georgia. A lot of important people sent their kids to this great school, like Coretta Scott King and Martin Luther King Jr. The Kings became very good friends with the Roberts after leaving their kids in their care. A star is born. It was clear that the Roberts had made their home and business look great. They loved the performing arts and showed that in everything they did, at work and at home. They also had a daughter in 1967. She'd go on to become the highest paid actor in the world. Of course, this was Julia Roberts. She was born Julia Fiona Roberts on October 28, 1967 in Smyrna, Georgia. Julia Roberts was one of three children. She was the younger sister of both Eric and Lisa Roberts. She would have another brother or sister later on, but this relationship was doomed to fail. End of an era If you saw the Roberts together for the first time, you would have thought they were deeply, deeply in love. At first, it seemed like they were made for each other because they both loved acting and show business and worked together in different fields. But over time, the relationship started to show signs of trouble. Years later, Eric Roberts told Vanity Fair that his parents' marriage was a catastrophe. Their 16-year marriage was very emotional and loud. In 1971, Betty Lou filed for divorce, and the end of the marriage came early the next year. The rest of the family would also be affected by this in a big way. Miles Apart The Roberts' kids' lives were turned upside down in more than one way when their parents split up. Not only was the family home broken up because the parents were no longer together, but the kids were also split up. Walter Grady Roberts went to Atlanta with his son, while Betty Lou Bredemis stayed in Smyrna with her girls. They had no idea that this space would be the start of a long and painful fight between the kids. Model Student Julia Roberts knew she was meant for great things in life. Even though her family life was in chaos and she watched her parents go through a hard divorce, and then being split from her brother Eric. And it was clear from a young age that she was determined and had the work attitude to have a great career. Roberts was a great student when she was young. She went to Fitzhugh Lee Elementary School, Griffin Middle School, and Campbell High School in Smyrna, Georgia. Even though Roberts worked hard, her personal life was about to get even more unstable. Stepfather Strife Julia Roberts stayed in Georgia with her mother and sister after her parents split. When they were kids, they all tried their best to enjoy life and get used to being a family. That was until Bredemis got married a second time to a man named Michael Motes. This threw everything into chaos. Julia Roberts still won't talk about Motes in interviews, and it was said that she had a rough relationship with him when she was younger. The problems in Roberts' personal life were only going to get messier. Bundle of Joy in 1976, the Motes had been married for four years. Numerous rumors spread to say that the marriage was very tough and had many tough times. 
but at the time, the family was still trying to be strong and make things work. In 1976, they had their first child together, a girl named Nancy Motes. They thought this would be the start of a new life together. They had no idea that this new bundle of joy would become the heart of a very different tragedy. Tragedy Strikes Young Nancy Motes would one day be at the center of a very sad event. But in her early years, the Roberts family experienced a very different kind of loss. Walter Grady Roberts, the Roberts children's father, died in 1977 after a long fight with throat cancer. They were very sad. Julia had been through more sadness and change than most people do in their whole lives by the time she was just 10. Splitsville We already know that Julia Roberts' mother and dad were said to have had a bad marriage. So when Berdemus filed for divorce from Motes in 1983, it probably didn't come as a surprise to many. According to reports, Berdemus's reasons for divorcing was abuse. She said that the marriage was the worst thing that ever happened to her. Nobody knew how much the Roberts children were about to rise above and make new, bright lives for themselves after going through so much suffering and trouble at such a young age. But the first of the children to do this was not the one you might think. No matter what may have happened to Julia Roberts when she was young, she went on to become one of the most famous and loved actors in the world. What you might not know, though, is that her brother Eric was the first child to move to Hollywood. He paved the way for her to come many years later. Because he played the lead role in Frank Pearson's King of the Gypsies in 1978, and then in Raggedy Man with Sissy Spacek in 1981, in show business, Eric Roberts was making a name for himself, and this was just the start. Main Man It looked like Eric Roberts was going to take over Hollywood in the late 70s and early 1980s. The man was naturally charming and good-looking, and it was also clear that he was a very good performer. So it turned out that Roberts was up for a Golden Globe for his part in Gypsies, which showed how special he was. After that, Roberts was nominated for his first Academy Award in 1986 for his part in Runaway Train by Andrei Konjolovsky. Eric Roberts looked like he was going to become a huge star, but fate had a different plan. Little Sis Julia Roberts' big brother Eric was making waves in Hollywood as she grew up. He was talented and charming, and he quickly became a star. What about his little sister Julia, though? She wanted to live a glamorous life in show business. Did she have the same goals? Roberts seemed to have had the same teenage dreams as most kids her age. She liked playing the clarinet in her school band and wanted to be a doctor. How did this little girl grow up to be the famous star she is now? Branching Out While she was younger, Julia Roberts was a determined student, but as she got older, it looked like her desire to do well in school was fading. That's because the future star went to Georgia State University after high school, but it didn't last. In the end, Roberts dropped out of college, leaving before she could graduate. So what other type of fate had she chosen to follow? The Big Apple The truth was that Julia's megawatt smile and bright eyes were meant for a lot more than a normal school life. Because she quickly understood that she wanted to be an actress, just like her brother and parents, she then went to New York City to join her big brother and try to make it as an actress. But this young, starstruck person would have a hard time getting there. Screen Stunner but let's not forget where Julia Roberts came from. She was young and new to show business. Her parents met and got married because they both loved acting, so she was born with the skill. So as soon as she got to New York, she signed with the Click Modeling Agency and started taking acting classes. She was always going to be one of the best and most skilled actors of her time, but one day someone else would take all the praise. In the Family there's no question that Julia Roberts is one of the best artists of her age. She deserves all the fame, money, and respect she's received. But her big brother says that he was the one who first helped her get her big break. When Julia came to New York, I went to William Morris and asked, which of you is going to sign my sister Julia, he told Vanity Fair. Sometime soon after, Julia Roberts got the lead part in Mystic Pizza. It was the start of a long and successful career. Breaking Out Julia Roberts was in a lot of famous movies in the 1980s and 1990s, including the cult classics Steel Magnolias, Pretty Woman, and Sleeping with the Enemy. One of her most famous movies was the big hit Mystic Pizza. 
Roberts' work was praised by many critics, and she was nominated for both Academy Awards and Golden Globe Awards. She quickly became a well-known name. Soon, Julia Roberts was the highest-paid actress of the 1990s, and everyone thought she was the cutest girl in America, and her time at the top was just getting started. True Legend Julia Roberts continued to break rules and set records as she got some of the most famous and important parts in history after becoming one of the most successful and skilled actors in Hollywood. In 2000, she finally won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her part as the main character in the movie Aaron Brockovich. This made her a real Hollywood celebrity. She also got a BAFTA, a Golden Globe, and a Screen Actors Guild Award for her part as Brockovich. There was, however, someone else who would take credit for everything that went well. Tabloid Toddy As Julia Roberts' fame grew, as it often does, the media became more interested in her personal life. Because of this, the young star soon had to deal with photographers and reporters getting pictures of her every time she was seen with a new possible beau. At the time, she was tied to Jason Patrick, Liam Neeson, Kiefer Sutherland, Dylan McDermott, and Matthew Perry, all of whom are well-known actors. And Robert's love life is about to be looked at even more closely. Odd Couple In 1991, Roberts, who was already very famous, was dating Kiefer Sutherland, who was also very famous. Their relationship was very public, and they quickly became the hottest couple in Hollywood. So it shocked everyone in show business when the pair, who seemed happy together, broke off their engagement just three days before their wedding. Not long after that, she moved in with the very plain country singer Lyle Lovett and married him in 1993. This shocked everyone even more. The press was mean to the happy couple and Lovett because he didn't look like what they thought a movie star husband should look like. Parting Ways no matter what other people thought, Roberts and Lovett seemed to be deeply in love. Sadly, their marriage would not last. Roberts' marriage seemed to fall apart quickly and they split up after less than two years together. It's unclear whether this was because of the stresses of fame or the mean things said about her husband in the press. Roberts' divorce from Lovett, on the other hand, was peaceful and friendly, unlike her parents, and the two are still friends today. But there will be more love trouble in other parts of the Roberts family. Love Lessons Eric Roberts had been juggling his job with changes in his personal life while his sister was becoming famous in Hollywood, much more so than his own decent but not very big fame. Why? Besides being an actor, Roberts had met Kelly Cunningham and moved in with her, and in 1991 they had a girl named Emma Roberts. Eric Roberts had no idea that his new baby girl would become more famous than him as an actress. Turbulent Times Either way, it became clear over time that Eric Roberts and his girlfriend, Kelly Cunningham, were not going to work out. As soon as they officially broke up, they got into a nasty custody fight over their daughter Emma, and Eric Roberts' other relationships, especially his connection with his much more famous sister, would be strained by this long and hard fight. Eric was crushed when Julia officially agreed with Cunningham and said she thought Emma would be better off living with her mother. Eric stopped talking to his sister, whom he used to love, because he felt completely betrayed. But what does this mean for his daughter's art career? The Next Generation From a very young age, it was clear that Emma Roberts had the ability that run in her family. She was meant to follow in the footsteps of her grandparents and parents and become famous and wealthy in Hollywood. Not by chance or because she naturally did that either, her beloved Aunt Julia had a direct effect on her behavior. Emma Roberts used to hang out on the sets of Julia's movies when she was little and enjoy the glitz and glamour of the movie scenes herself. That's how Emma's love for movies began. But not everyone was happy with her plans. A Different Path When Emma Roberts was growing up, she knew exactly what she wanted to do with her life. However, her mother didn't approve of her plans to work in Hollywood because Kelly Cunningham didn't want her daughter to live a high-profile life like her famous boyfriend and his family did. It was true that Robert's mother was only trying to keep her safe, but she also knew that her real calling was in show business, just like the women in the family before her. Blown Away Emma Roberts was sure she wanted to go into the movie business, like her father and aunt, even though her mother wasn't sure. She made her movie start in Ted Dem's crime movie, Blow, in 2001 when she was just 10 years old. She played Johnny Depp's character's daughter. 
As someone who had never tried out for a part before, it was easy to see how she got the part. She had the same natural ability as her family. More good news was on the way for other members of the Roberts family. Double Whammy Julia Roberts learned her lesson about putting on public displays of her relationships after the uproar over her past relationships. Because of this, when she met and fell in love with photographer Danny Motor, they kept their relationship very quiet. In 2002, they married in a small, quiet wedding. 2004, they had twins, a girl named Hazel Patricia and a boy named Phineas Walter. A baby's birth is always good news, but this one would be especially good for the whole family in more than one way. Kiss and Makeup As if the news that Julia Roberts and her husband were going to have twins wasn't already very exciting, the birth of their new child added to the joy in their family. Because right after the baby was born, Roberts' long-lost brother Eric came to see her. Roberts told Vanity Fair that he and his wife only went to the hospital to drop off gifts. Instead, they led me into their room and quickly filled me with love as a brother and an uncle. After this touching reunion, things were looking better for the Roberts family in more than one way. Time to Shine Emma Roberts had a safe family background and a caring environment before she took her big break in show business. This was even better after her beloved aunt and father got back together. Just as she thought, the year her cousins were born was also the year she started her role on the Nickelodeon show Unfabulous. Soon, the youngest Roberts family member was making a name for herself on her own, and her star was just starting to rise. Megastar After Emma Roberts grew up, it was time for her to go from being a child and a teen star to a serious adult actor. She stepped up to the task, landing some of the very well-known and praised adult parts like in Limeville in 2008 and Adult World and We're the Millers in 2013. It looked like the Roberts family was finally at peace and happy as the youngest daughter started her job. That is until a sudden tragedy hit the Roberts family again. A Crushing Blow Julia and Eric Roberts both seem to be finally having a happy and peaceful time in their lives after having rough starts. They both had loving families and great jobs, but soon there would be a new tragedy that would shock this sudden happiness. Eric and Julia's half-sister, Nancy Motes, who trained dogs and made movies, was found dead at her home in Los Angeles in 2014. It's just heartbreak, Julia Roberts told the Wall Street Journal not long after Motes' death. We can't put it into words what we've been through in the last 20 days. Sticking Together even though the Roberts family was crushed by the terrible incident, the fact is that they were able to get through it together because they'd just gotten back together. Some days it's hour by hour, but you just keep looking ahead, Julia said. Even though you don't want bad things to happen to anyone, the world is full of terrible, painful, and strange events. Still, we have to find a way as a family, even when things look hopeless and hard. The thought of writing something about it makes me cry every time I'm not with my family. Healing Slowly Even though Nancy Moat's sudden death broke the Roberts family's hearts, they knew she would want them to make the most of their situation and still live their lives to the fullest. So the family slowly started to heal and rebuild their lives in the only way they knew how, by focusing on their true passions. They continued to work in movies and build their showbiz reputations but one member of the famous family was doing this on their own. Screen Queen Julia Roberts had been the queen of Hollywood for many years, regularly topping the lists of highest paid actresses and biggest box office stars, but now it looked like a new Roberts actress should take the throne. Emma Roberts, her beloved niece, in 2015, became even more famous with her roles in the hit thrillers Scream Queens and American Horror Story. It was clear that her aunt was the real queen of Hollywood. Paving the way People must have thought it was hard for Eric Roberts when his sister and then his daughter became more famous as actors than he was, but he doesn't see it that way. He's proud that he helped make his sister and daughter famous as actresses. If it wasn't for me, there would be no Julie and Emma Roberts as celebrities, as actresses, he told People magazine. Self-promotion we're glad to see that Eric Roberts is proud of his famous sister and daughter, but we can't help but wonder if he's mad that they're better than him. I'm so proud that everyone knows I was first, he said, 
making a slightly awkward boast of his skills. Because I was first by a long shot, I was first to get Golden Globe and Academy Award nomination, so I'm proud of that. Yikes, he does admire them. Family Business The Roberts family has a history in show business, but Emma Roberts' mother, Kelly Cunningham, liked a quieter life away from the limelight. Emma wanted her mother to be more public and share her life with fans, so she helped her mom start an Instagram account and taught her how to use it. Little did Emma know that she would deeply regret this decision when her mom shared some very private details about herself on the account. Private Post In a hilarious Instagram mistake, Emma Roberts' mother accidentally told the world the incredible news that her daughter was expecting a child. As fans began to guess, Cunningham didn't realize that her daughter hadn't yet confirmed the news publicly, so she started thanking her fans instead. It started slow with a Google alert on me. Roberts laughed in an interview with Jimmy Kimmel. Looking to the future The good news is that Roberts was able to find the funny side of the situation, even though there was some conflict. We kind of laughed, she said. We kind of got into a fight. I blocked her at one point. It's a good story to tell the baby. The Roberts family has had a lot of ups and downs, and their story is full of challenges and tragedies. They'll face their bright future together. If you've watched the video till here, that means you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe! Don't forget to turn on the notifications bell icon 